Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10.3.1 to the public. They actually never came out with a beta for this particular version, and instead last week came out with 10.3.2 beta 1. So this particular version came in at about 28.5 megabytes for this device. This is an iPhone 6S. But for others, it went up to almost 700 megabytes, depending on what you are on. Now, if you're on 10.3.2 beta one that came out last week, you won't get this update and you'll actually have to use iTunes if you want to use this version and restore the phone so that you can get back to whatever the public has. Now, this particular update doesn't really have anything obvious up front, anything like that, but it's basically a bug fix and security update fix. There's really nothing obvious that you can see. There's no new features and everything is basically working nice and smooth. The security features, they only pinpoint one thing that they've updated and that has to do with the Wi-Fi. So if you've got Wi-Fi issues, uh, although I don't know that it was issues, it was more on the security side. There's really no issues there. I haven't had any issues with anything else. 3D touch is working fine on the 6S and newer and everything seems to be really fast. No issues there. So that's not an issue whatsoever. So as far as that goes, it's working fine. Now, some of you have had issues with 10.3.2 beta one with VPN. Uh, so far I've confirmed that that's not the issue with this particular update. The VPN connections are working okay. So if VPN is important, it seems like you can update to this particular version and that shouldn't be an issue. However, if you want to go to the beta version, beware, it doesn't work so well with VPN. Some people it works, some people it doesn't. So 10.3.1 is a recommended update. It should basically improve bugs and maybe even a little bit of performance. I haven't had any issues. As far as iOS 10.3.2 beta one, I actually have had really good battery life and everything, and I had good battery life on 10.3. I know many of you haven't, and for those of you that haven't, I would suggest resetting your privacy and location data. You can reset that information under general and then scroll down until you get to reset and then reset location and privacy. This fixed a lot of battery issues for me. So if you're having battery issues with iOS 10.3, you may want to do that. The only disadvantage is anytime you go into a new app that needs location, it's going to ask you if it's okay this time or when the app is running. I suggest you do it while the app is running. And for example, if you see here, I've got the little arrow, that means I'm using location data and that actually can kill your battery quite quickly. So I would suggest maybe resetting that to, to help that out. It, it worked really well for me. So that's it for this particular update. I definitely recommend installing it, but I'd love to hear anything you've found. Now, if you'd like this wallpaper, uh, you can get it. I'll leave a link in the description and thanks to, I'm sorry if I mispronounced this, but a Muthan, Buzz Doggin, thanks for sending this along. If you'd like to submit your wallpapers, you can do that at Twitter at Zolotech. I'll leave all those links in the description as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.